Okay, uh, the round that had the Bob testing challenge assigned to it, the regular round one, has closed. And so now let's take a look at the results of students' decisions uh, in the face of that challenge. So the uh, instructor can go to the dashboard. Here are the reports. And let's open up uh, the students' team operations report. So here's the report for uh, Sam Jones. And we can see here under current round operating decisions uh, that uh, he did indeed decide to uh, test his blow up preventer. So the answers that students give, the responses to the ethical challenge presented around will be reported to the student uh, here in their operating report, right in this part of the report. Now let's go look at the results of that test. And we find here, uh, fortunately, uh, Sam's uh, 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 a critical component of his blow up preventer has tested and has tested to be good as opposed to faulty. So Sam can be uh, a little bit uh, relieved that he's not dealing with a faulty part. Amy uh, also decided to test here. And uh, we can see from uh, the blow the up preventer test result that uh, she also was fortunate in having uh, a good part. If this had been uh, uh, a faulty part, it would have said uh, faulty in terms of the test result. And here's um, Haley. Uh, she decided not to test. And the result is uh, NA for the Bob test result for her. OK, so that's, uh, that's what the reports look like. Uh, let's, uh, let's go back to the student experience. Close that. We're going to go back to the uh, student experience and uh, see how all, this, uh, all these results show up for a student. Okay, I'm going to uh, log on as one of our demo students here, Sam Jones. Sign in as Sam. And we can uh, go to his uh, operating report uh, for round one. And we can see again, uh, just as the instructor uh, saw in opening up the report, that uh, Sam decided to test his blog preventer this round and that uh, you can uh, breathe a sigh of relief, the result was good. OK, let's go over to the announce calendar and announcements page. And uh, you'll see here that uh, these uh, two announcements associated with the uh, BOP uh, testing challenge uh, do indeed show up. So here was the first one announcing the challenge. Uh, this sh showed up uh, right when the round opened in their announcements box. And uh, the student will also get an email saying they have a new announcement. So this explains what the challenge is all about. Here are uh, the files that uh, support that challenge. And then uh, this challenge uh, also has a, a, a follow-up uh, announcement. And that's in the form of an industry newsletter. And this uh, newsletter uh, imagines that uh, there was uh, a rig operator that uh, failed to do the testing, and um, their uh, rig blew out. And uh, this imagines uh, what all that might look like from the perspective of uh, the public, uh, regulators, and lawmakers. And so this uh, helps expose students to the idea that uh, their own decision making uh, needs to take into account how that decision is going to look in retrospect if uh, something goes terribly wrong. So that's what uh, this is about to kind of bookend uh, the challenge and uh, close the loop on it. OK, and now the student is ready for uh, the round three, uh, the next uh, challenge, round two, the round two uh, decisions. And there haven't been any um, uh, challenges, ethical challenges associated with this round. So there's uh, nothing special for the student to do in this case.